Good morning. Thank you again for allowing me to break into your copy space time, whatever time it is. But I want to keep you updated. Right behind me, we have banners, memorial banners, with the names of those who have passed away during this last year. We want them to be sacred in our lives. So as you look at some of your friends and family members, remember to pause and pray for someone. Have a memory. Keep it in your heart. Share it with your family why it's special to you and how you want to continue that memory. We will honor these wonderful people in a special Mass on Monday evening at 7 o'clock. And it will also be live streamed so you can have a way to celebrate from your own homes wherever your family at this time are living or celebrating. And at that Mass, we will lovingly, prayerfully draw these names back into the altar space of our lives. And thank God for the, the gift they, they are and they were. But pray for them. This is a sacred day in the life of our church. November the 2nd, we pray for all souls. We switch back a little bit. And November the 1st is All Saints Day. And so tomorrow, as you celebrate All Saints Day or this evening, remember again that we are the communion of saints. Your names are not waiting to be a part of the communion of saints. No matter how unready you feel, God has declared us holy in the graces we have received. Just as we pray for our loved ones, they pray for us. That's the communion of saints. So as you read the banners, think again of all who have gone before us and the holy people you've known in your life who have influenced where you are today. Maybe the extra mom, the extra dad, the extra uncle, all of those great people in your life. I want to show you a little image that came to my mind as I was looking outside our rectory this morning. This is not a space you would expect to find beauty right now. If you pass by someday, take a look. And on the street, you'll see why I say it's not like a sacred space. And in the midst of that, I was looking at this little rosebud coming out, disregarding the ugliness of the space, and still there. And I'm going to say to you, this time is God's rosebud for all of us. If we don't see the future in a rosebud, we'll never appreciate the roses. And I want you to be ready for God's roses when we go through this time. This is God's rosebud, and I can't tear it open or I'll destroy the beauty. I've got to wait, and to wait with hope, and wait with joy and appreciation. That's the message that you and I can communicate. Keep a rosebud in your hearts and in your home, and it will remind you of the hope-centered life we're supposed to share. There's a phenomenal gift in our parish today, phenomenal gift, and that gift is we put on our new altar table on the same base with the pelican and the Alpha and Omega, but the old altar table was totally unsalvageable. It was all cracked and broken from the time when it was moved out from the wall, held together with pieces of metal. We wanted a table that would connect us with the word, the ambo, and the baptismal font. It is spectacular. And I was there when it was actually going on the base, and I was invited to put in a time capsule. I wrote something and then put it into an envelope and into a baggie and put it right under the altar so that you and I would be prayed for. And what did I say in that? Please pray for the family of American martyrs and for our souls when we're called home to the Lord. Every Mass will have that there for all of us. I think that's an exciting moment that we can look at and be grateful for. And then today in our country, we have a phenomenal event. It's not going to come very often. It is that a regular parish priest, 38 years old when he died in the pandemic, and he died because he went out and he cared for the sick and the dying. But he was the founder of the Knights of Columbus, Father Michael McGivney, who is going to be beatified today. He would be blessed, Michael McGivney. He said, 
something needs to be done about the widows and the orphans who are broken apart if their breadwinner dies. He formed the Knights of Columbus in order to fulfill that ministry. I have witnessed that firsthand when they've gone out to East Los Angeles, when they bring gifts to the poor. We need to be grateful for Father Michael McGivney and pray that parish priest today will do the same, helping the poor, the broken, and those who are in some way without means of sustenance. We do that at Martyrs, and I'm so proud of you. Keep the rosebuds going and pray for me, and I pray for you. And again, I want to say it and say it again. I love you, and God bless you.